So we, as you've seen in the intro video, we're going to go over the CZ75D Compact PCR. It's a bit of a mouthful. It's basically obviously CC75. It's the compact version. It is the DD stands for decocker, uh, which is right here. And PCR stands for Police Czech Republic, who it was originally made for. Uh, so as you've seen on the close-up video, um, We'll just go through the gun here. Uh, this this was California compliant, so it came with um, 10 round mags, which these are not because I'm not a commie state, so I, I switched them out to the 14 round mags, uh, which are standard. Um, the grips, originally I thought when I got this that I would maybe change the grips, but actually when I'm, I'm getting these, they're actually really nice kind of a rubber feel. And it, in the hand, it feels excellent. It's uh, I was really, really surprised on how comfortable this gun feels in the hand. Um, ergonomics are really, really nice in this, and the pistol. The The frame is made of forged aluminum, uh, so it's a little lighter than the P01, which I believe is uh, full steel. It's about half a pound lighter on this version, um, but it still feels really sturdy, very, very nicely made. Um, the slide lock is here, and it's nice. Both the slide lock and the decocker have these grooves here. Um, makes it makes it a little easier for, for thumbing them. Um, Right here, so uh, so that's that's nice. One of the things um, that I've noticed is the you know, this is my first CZ, so if you've had CZs before, you probably already know this. But the slide is really low compared to other pistols, which makes it um, actually kind of hard sometimes to grab a hold of. And um, so some people who normally I've been shooting with have had an issue with that. I I haven't really had that issue, but I have noticed it's a lot harder to rack this gun than than my other pistols. Uh, I'm not sure why that is. It's but it, it feels great. Um, but other than it, is, it does feel a little harder to rack, uh, rack the slide. Um, so the barrel's forged um, is cold hammer forged, which is really nice. And let's have a look here. Oh, so for takedown, um, it's a little more difficult than uh, I own Glocks and I own Sigs and and things like that. It is a little more difficult to take down. It's not super complicated, but it is, it is just a little little harder. At the back here, there's two notches. There's one at the very back here. This might be really hard to see, and there's another notch here, and you simply uh, and it's easier to uh, to cock it. Make sure obviously the gun's unloaded, and then just simply slide that back. Once you've got that there and slide it back, there's this part here on the other side for the slide lock needs to be pushed through. Now, um, you're going to want to get something a little hard to do this with. So let's see if I can do this with. So you use the bottom of a, a magazine or something. Okay, you heard that click. Oops. And then pull it out. Okay. So as it's not super difficult, but it is harder than um, some of the other slides out there. Uh, take down. All right. In the inside, one of one of the very few cons I've had with this gun is I was surprised when I took this apart, and in the inside, it's not finished. So, you, um, so you can probably see here it, it paints goes just inside, and then it's done. And this is not this is not coated at all. Does it affect the functionality of the gun? No. Was it surprised it wasn't finished? Yeah. I mean, uh, it, it just seems like weird to me that they wouldn't finish that and just put it in there. Doesn't affect the functionality at all, um, so it's not a big deal. But it was just something that kind of surprised me. All right, let's put this back on. Oh. Let's put this back together. So again, just mark up those two lines. Both lines are in there. And then I've done this once before. Oh yeah, it was easier this time. All right. And obviously we're good there. Uh, one of the other slight things I don't like about it is the sights. They're not true night sights, um, but they are snag free, which is really nice. Um, so you can probably see here, the chance of you snagging on that something's pretty slim, um, but they aren't true night sights. Uh, you know, it's, if you've seen the things that you shine the light on or in daylight and then it, you cover them at nighttime, they kind of, they're bright and then it wears off. That's what these sights are. So I will be switching these to night sights uh, eventually. Um, one day, so that was that. I'm trying to think what the other. Oh, the trigger. The trigger actually feels feels good. It's a double action, single action. Obviously, with the decocker, the first pull is a long, hard pull, which you'd expect from a double action. It's about 10 to 12 pounds, so it is pretty heavy. The single action is a smooth uh, six pound pull. It feels actually feels lighter than six pounds. It says it's six pounds, but I think it's actually lighter than that. It feels great. It's really smooth. Um, no problems with that. Um, I was when I took this to the range. Uh, Follow-up shops were really easy, really quick. Um, 
you got back on target really, really easily. Um, so yeah, so the trigger's pretty good. Um, you can send it into places like Cajun Works um, if you want to get the trigger done and, and things like that, if you want to change the internals. For me, this gun has is, is just been an absolute pleasure to shoot. Um, I, as I say, I own Glocks and other things out of the box, other than my Legion. Um, this has been one of the best shooters out of the box that I've had, um, and I'm very, very impressed. I sold one of my other Glocks to buy this, and um, you know, I have one Glock 19 left. I may or may not keep it, uh, or I may or may not buy another CZ. That's how impressed I am with this pistol. Uh, obviously, you have the mag release here. It sticks out well. It's got some serrations on it. Um, very easy to get to. I do have short hands, and this is a compact, but I have noticed with the slide lock, I have to reposition my hand a little bit off around to get the slide lock on my other I don't really have that issue in my other pistols um, but I do have small hands um, and so that might be just the cause of that it's got nice serrations front and back and it does have a, um, a round indicator it is, is loaded and you have some serrations on the end of here too uh, obviously with some serrations front and back the gun it just, as I say, it's a pleasure. It was uh, these aren't super common; they're kind of hard to get, um, and that also goes along with my, uh, holsters. I found a little difficult to get a hold of. There is some places that do them, but they're not as common as uh, as like uh, other brands of guns. So you're gonna have to uh, look around to get a hold of those. Um, these are not um, CZ magazines. These are Metgar mags, 14 rounds. Um, you can buy them in Gun Mag Warehouse for about $17 as it stands, um, and they've been flawless. Uh, as I say, I don't use the 10 rounds. 10 round mags. Um, if you want to change your grips, you could, there's tons of options online. You can change them and we're from 50 to 60 bucks uh, and, and change the color and the kind of look of the gun really, really easily. Uh, I think we may have covered everything. Um, it's just been a beautiful pistol. Um, I'm extremely, extremely ha happy with it and I highly recommend it. So yeah. All right, folks, that is it. I'm outside. It's cold. You might be able to hear my boy freezing and shivering in the background. <laughs> um, if you have any questions, any comments, please ask them below, and I'll be happy to help you in any way I can. And as always, I really appreciate you following along. Have a great day, guys.